What's going on everybody? Today's a fun ass night. Today I get to drive my dad's Trans Am for the first time ever since I blew up his engine when I was 16 years old. So let me tell this story all about it. All right guys, I'm officially in the GTA Trans Am. My dad actually let me drive it today. He needs his tires balanced, so you thought I might as well let me drive it over there. So go for a little cruise, check it out, see how different it is and see, bring all the old memories back and shit like that. Let me tell you guys the story about everything about it too. All right guys, this car has a lot of history to it. It's a 1987 GTA Trans Am that my dad got when he was 18 years old. He bought it used with like a couple thousand miles on it. He got it for a good ass price and just had it ever since. Then once we were born, he kind of like kept it in the garage most of the time for about 10 years, didn't really drive it at all. And about five years ago, he finally fixed it up, got it started and everything like that. And he drove around for a couple weekends. And one weekend, he went out to Ohio, okay? And this weekend, I asked him if I could take out his car while he was in Ohio with my friend just to go get some pizza in an arbor about 20 minutes away from my house, okay? So me and my cousin wanted to go cruise around. We finally got in the Trans Am and I was just hyped as fuck driving the Trans Am because I never really drove it before. And just being alone and everything, which is awesome, just cruising around in a badass car, just looking sweet, you know? <laughs> but yeah, we're just on our way to Ann Arbor, just cruising around. And we finally got off the freeway after about driving for about 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden, right when we got the freeway, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to the gauges at all because I was young and dumb and really didn't really notice too much. And my cousin actually pointed out to me that the temperature was all the way up. He's telling me that I need to stop the car and I'm like, God damn, I did not even notice that. So we got the freeway right away, pulled it over, put it in the parking lot and let it cool down for a little bit. After about 30 minutes of sitting around, we finally took it out and just made sure it was okay. Just wanted to drive around make sure nothing was broken. And we, th and we just thought we need to take it back home before something fucks up because we don't want to get in trouble with my dad and we're just terrified of him. So we just tried taking it back home. And on the way to the freeway, like right before 94, there's this big ass hill that you have to go up like in the middle of the city with like a bunch of strip malls on the side of you. And we were trying to go up, we stopped at a stoplight and then all of a sudden the car just stopped. I was like, what the fuck? The car just cut off, the motor just cut off and I just couldn't believe what was happening. I was terrified, I was like, what the hell is going on? Hopefully. I was hoping it was just like a starter issue or just something simple, like something with a fuel pump or something like that. But one of the biggest problems we had to deal with was trying to get it out of the middle of the street. Cause we were literally on a hill in the middle of the street in traffic and we could not pull over. And there's cars all the way around us just looking at us, beeping at us and we're like, we can't even do nothing. So luckily this one SUV, he had a tow strap with him. So he hooked us up to his car, reeled us into this nearest party store that was like right next to us. And then from there, all my cousins and me are just sitting there like, what the hell do we do? So we just try figuring out what's going on with it, try looking up on Google, try figuring out different stuff. We had to call a tow truck, so I called one up, had him come over. You try fixing up the starter, try hitting the starter, try connecting some different stuff, try hitting the gas tank to see if it was a fuel issue or something like that. And Bell Tire is not even open. Let me show you guys this real quick. That is kind of hold. Me and my dad were rushing, trying to get everything ready, trying to get it all started, and Bell Tire is not even fucking open today. It's because it's Friday. And this Trans Am also has a keypad to start your car, so nobody can just steal your car. And it has a code to start your car. That old school. Well, let's take it back home. That old school. <laughs> But yeah, but back to the story, okay? We're trying to figure out what the hell we're gonna do. The tow truck guy came, tried, tried messing with it, trying to get it started. And, we, and he kept saying it was probably the starter, most likely something like that. So we had it towed home. You paid the guy a hundred bucks, kind of ruined my day a little bit, but. And I drove the tow truck guy home, pick up my car. So I had to go pick up my other cousins because they were starting out in Ann Arbor because of me. <laughs> But then we got back home and I did not call my dad. I did not tell him until he got back because I just didn't want to, I just wanted to wait as long as I can, did not want him to find out. <laughs> and yeah, he got home, was messing with it, trying to get it running, and he actually got it started. But there's a big ass knocking, a bunch of clinging and banging around in the engine, and we knew something was wrong. And we later found out that the radiator hose was leaking on there, not letting enough cooling for the engine. And just from it being old and just sitting around forever and not getting like a proper restoration for being from sitting around forever and just from me driving it for too long and just not really know how to drive it correctly for being an old ass car. Might have put some flow masters on this so it sounds a lot better than just that. It is quicker too. 
But yeah, last summer my dad got the whole engine and transmission rebuilt. Got a new exhaust system, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Got some new suspension pieces, kind of like restored it a little bit. But yeah, it's finally back to life. I've been sitting around for like five years after being messed up. I'm so happy it's all fixed up for my dad. Finally gets to drive it around and everything like that. And I just love seeing it sitting next to my Camaro every day in the garage, you know. Perfect setup. Got the Trans Am and the Camaro. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed the story. I got a lot more coming for you guys. See you next time.